And Dan's question is similar. Whose decision is it to kill people in Ukraine? Is Putin's soul deciding um, those who die? Yeah. Let, let, me, let me explain something. We don't have a war in Ukraine. I explained this very, very clearly in American teaching a couple of weeks ago. USSR never died. Russia, as a USSR, was never dissolved. Each country went on their own and they called themselves what they like. But the nation of USSR, the government of USSR, was never dissolved. Ukraine is still part of USSR. And is not who decides, it's the USSR as a collective nations of what we call the bigger Russia, have decided they're going to keep their property and their territory. This is a Vatican war. Vatican tried to attack, tried to take over the Church of Russia, which is even richer than Vatican. And they could not get into it. Church of Russia has asked, as the administrators, protector of the church, the state of USSR, headed by Russia, and other nations of Russia, the 12, to protect the motherland. America will never go into war, because they know they're, they're, they're just barking like a dog, as I call it. Russia has the right to protect the assets of USSR. This is what they don't tell you in public. And Vatican is financing this push, and there'll never be a war. We said 99% weeks ago that Russia will go into Ukraine to protect the motherland, the USSR. Russia is not invading Romania, not invading Bulgaria. Russia is keeping the structure protected from the push of the Vatican to NATO to push, pressurize Russia that they open on the back door the Church of uh, Moscow, the Russian Church, Orthodox Church, to become assets of the Vatican. Get this very clear. It doesn't matter what you hear. Russia has not moved in to create a war. Russia has moved in the territory which belongs to it as a USSR. Americans will bark. They know they're wrong. The Europeans will bark. They know they're wrong. And there won't be a war. This is not a war. This is correcting in what then later become civil wars in Belarus. We saw it in Chechnya and the others. Vatican is trying to push, using NATO as their slave, to push that we go, you just go into Ukraine, we take the Ukraine, we put forces in there, or you give us the church of, what do you call it, Russia. It's not a war. This will never be a war. If you look at it this way, is there a war if America takes the Marine from the state of Arizona, or what do you call it, California, to another state? Is there a war? The war is what happened in Ottawa in the last few days. That's the war of slavery by the servants. If you know the politics, geopolitics, Americans don't have the field forces. Unless they go high-level bombing, you high-level Russia, I said, Russian, USSR military forces have said, one bomb out of new, out of, uh, what do you call it, allied forces on Ukraine, they flatten out New York. That's the territory. The Americans can bring sanctions. No problem. What's going to happen is very simple. This is the pattern we've seen over years. Russia move in, they change the government. They take all these leaders who started becoming rebels, sold their um, particular open business accounts on huge money in America and in Europe. They stole and raped the nation. 
They'll escape or they take them to prisons in Siberia. I've been to one of them. I know what they're going to do with them. And then after 30 days, 60 days, or six months, Russians withdraw. They instate a pro-Moscow understanding Orthodox Church of Russia. And then the barking with the seven to almost time. Never going to be a war. Cannot be a war. Moving soldiers to protect the motherland, the same as you want Arizona and other states to be part of the United States. You don't let the Canadians take it or the Mexicans. It's the same. USSR, this is the problem which was sitting for years to come up and now has come up for the second time. Intrusion by Vatican, using military forces of NATO on this side, has caused this problem, and it's not going to be able. There is another war. This is a motherland protecting this child. Russia has spent trillions in Ukraine. As I said, where your children try to grow and you let them go, it doesn't mean for the others to wait. The motherland protects them. And this is what we see now, and this is a correction in a political dimension in Ukraine. It's not going to be. If soldiers get killed or whatever, we've seen it happening, this is part of the, what we call, you have to look at it from the Russian. I, I've been very close to the Moscow and the, what we call affairs of the politics in uh, Kazakhstan and Moscow, Russia for a long time. I don't support either policies or governments, but I stand very clear to see the reality and the truth where it sits and how it is. Ukraine today is still part of USSR. The Russian parliament and all other parliaments of the 13 nation satellites should have dissolved the USSR. This would not have given the USSR on the instruction of the leadership of Moscow. Even if it wasn't put in there, it would have been somebody else, he would have still had this position. Vatican is, you got to understand, Vatican did the same thing with China. All that uprising we saw in Hong Kong was the amount of the finance and diamonds Vatican sent into Gojo, into the Central Asia to create with the black people of uh, China problems. Literally, they came in as priests with bags of diamond. They sold it in China to start a war to divide China. China was aware of it. I know this exactly what's happening because they are part of the peacemakers. We know what happens with the government. And they isolated it to Hong Kong and they financed Hong Kong to break up. And we saw how the wisdom of the His Excellency President Xi of China brought this under control. All the mayhem we saw as all the pushes of the West in Hong Kong was financed by Rothschild and by Vatican. One of these was Rothschild guys was in the Keshe Foundation six years ago. They penetrated the Keshe Foundation through Russia to destroy the Keshe Foundation. At that time, we had a big breakage in the work of the Keshe Foundation. The number of knowledge seekers disappeared because of it. it. Was the same process. Because we knew one of the Iranian guys was connected to Russia, thinking I'm Iranian, they can break in through, but we were watching it with the work of the intelligence system. Go back to six, seven years ago, you know exactly what I'm talking without mentioning names. And then, with our work with the Chinese government, it was isolated. They were aware of what is happening. They got this sorted. They got the position sorted. So, they went to Hong Kong with all the... You cannot imagine how much diamonds Vatican brought from Africa with the priests they brought in, went to China to create the, the splitting of the Chinese state. Exactly what they did. But this time, we were aware, the Chinese were aware, and the system kicked in and isolated in Hong Kong. And you saw all the battles we had for months. And then now, do you hear anything? All those leaders who got paid by the Vatican are in the government prison in China. 
We see the same thing now in Ukraine. Vatican, Rothschilds are killing themselves to destroy the peace that they have to control, and it's not happening. I have no worries. Uh, this is not a war. This is protesting one another. Let me see a few box dark, barking, like I said. And in six months, when they stated back to where it should be, present people, a few people on the streets will come and jump, which they get benefited by the NATO and the, what I call free slavery of the Vatican inside. They shout and howl on the street. Otherwise, people of the um, Russia and Ukraine know exactly why the Russians are coming in. Just because you left the side of a fence in your garden doesn't mean the dogs can come in. You put a fence up, keep the dogs out. And that's the simplest. They can bark behind the fence as much as they like. So it's not there shouldn't be anywhere unless something goes crazy with uh, somebody in the West. We don't see anything. And I explained that in the American teaching very, very recently. Um, I've been part of this process for 40 years. And I work with the Russians and the Chinese leaders for long enough to understand what is their point of view. Yeltsin once said, Mehran has spent in more beds of the presidential offices around Russia than I have. Then you know how close we are and how much we understand in the technology of the nation and the beating of the nation. This is not going to happen. It cannot, it should not happen. First of all, Europe doesn't have forces to match the Russia. Secondly, if they push, the pipelines will close. You're not, you don't live in West, in Europe. Um, winter cold time, Chinese, the Russians have chosen the best time to do because the pipelines, the prices will go up, the, the Germans and the rest will freeze and the nations will go on the street. It's very well tactically done, and the Western Europe relies on the gas pipeline from Russia for the heating and the life in the winter. They know what they're doing, and in a way, <coughs> the Americans can bark, but we will not see high rise bombing in, in whatever fuel field forces here and there. And secondly, Europe doesn't have that kind of military, especially with Corona, to stand a full invasion from Ukraine into Western Europe, and it's not going to happen. Russia is just getting the child back home in a way, which became a bit strange. We will shout and kick, but at the end, when the child is in danger, mother will go home.